Welcome to Tiny Rails, the fun little game with a train. And that was mine going past. I'm currently doing the Oceana West quest, or the Oceana quest, which has only taken me to Oceana once. It's had me running all around the world, including where I currently am, which is Russia. And I've got to go back to, I think it's Norlisk, I think it's the name of the town or city, where somebody called Dimitri was welding together all the bits I'd collected as part of the quest, hopefully into a prison cage, so I can now transport my wonderful ex-rival, Blackwell, to Oceana, or Australia, basically. And I'm coming into Noralisk. Again, my pronunciation is probably horrible. I have no idea how you pronounce names in lots of towns in Russia. Ah, Dimitri. Perfect timing. I just installed the booby traps. Okay, got booby traps on this cage as well, by the looks of it. Traps, plural. Nika gave me some alternate blueprints. We need to take every possible precaution. She is a beauty. No one will escape from that. I need to dispose of these blueprints. Do you have a furnace? I will take care of those, Nika. Good. Now we need to pick up Blackwell from Moscow and transport him down to Australia. Thanks for the help, Dimitri. No problem. Now let's see. Where did I put those blueprints? Gretchen, the blueprints are in my possession. Be ready in Australia. Gretchen being the person who seems to want to free Blackwell and Monica being the thief she's employed. Excellent news, Monica. I shall reroute our train at once. Great. So my rival is trying to steal my soon-to-be prisoner. And... Okay, I'm now at Oceana Chapter 1-14. Make a stop at... Evgenot? Evgenot? Whatever that, that says. In Russia. Why there? I have no idea. I've got to find the place first. Should have a little exclamation point on it. That's West Russia. It's not there. So this is East Russia. Oh, seriously? You're sending me to the far corner of Russia. This is going to take a while. I might as well depart. Okay. So what have I been doing in the meantime between episodes? Well, I've got these front three cars of mine, which are the ones I tend to change out all up to their maximum level. As you can see with the archery car, it fires one arrow through the back of another one into the bullseye. This blue passenger type car, the Frontier passenger car, now has this big yellow stripe on it. And this rusty traveller has a couple of additions to it, but nothing major. What I am going to do is replace these cars with some of my other cars. Some of the level one cars that I have, which are lying around doing nothing. And I did check earlier, and there are three specific cars that I want to use. One is this one, the Merchant Freighter. It's plus one speed when equipped in Europe. Well, I'm not in Europe, but it's going on anyway. That's a lot smaller than the one it replaced. I could use some of these, these other cars just here, but there are a couple of other cars I noticed earlier which were lying around that I wanted to use. Here they are. This is the one I picked up from the Japanese factory, not the Japanese, the Chinese factory. The QJ2655 car, which is a freight car of some type. And this is the one from the Japanese factory, the Japan Japanese luxury carriage car. Which is nice. And apparently I've got an obstacle in the way. So let my wonderful Hank clear the cow out of the road, or the track. Get me a few bits of stuff. And that's completed a load of jobs. But these are my three new cars. They're all going to... Oh, that one's going to take 2,500 experience to level up. This one only takes 500. As does this one. So at least these are going to level up pretty fast, these front two. Which is kind of nice. Now, in between the last episode and this episode, I did a... As usual, a lot of travelling around. I was trying to clear up a load of the station cargo requests, and I've been relatively successful. 
I have now finished Montreal and Houston's requests and also Tijuana in Mexico so out of the five stations that were outstanding in North America I cleared up three so if I go look at this and go back to North America it's now 98% complete because to complete it you've got to complete the cargo requests and upgrade all the stations at least that's my understanding Europe is now 85% complete no, nope, sorry, that's Alaska is 85% complete. Europe's 84% complete. Russia is 90% complete because I've done a few stations in there. And in total, I think I've got seven, eight stations which still have cargo requests outstanding in Russia. Asia is only 74% complete. And I thought I was doing quite well for clearing up cargo requests in Asia. Then I went and checked to see how many I had outstanding and it must be at least about 20, 25 still outstanding even though I've delivered tons upon tons of cargo I have however delivered a load more cargo into Oceania but I won't find out what percentage that is complete for a while yet then apparently it's going to unlock Africa once I complete this set of quests followed by South America and then Latin America Followed by the Middle East, which I've already partially, well, I've got unlocked, but, but partially completed. And then Southeast Asia chapter, which is theoretically coming soon, which means it won't be coming at all, because the developers have pretty much stopped developing this game. Which, that's life. I will, while I'm here, collect the jobs I've completed by the, clearing that last obstacle off, off the track. And I'm about to complete a mileage job. I need to replace those with some more jobs. That's 9 out of 10, that makes it 10 out of 10, and I've got another one that's complete, so I need to collect the money from that. And get one final job. Accept that one. Right, I'm back up to 10 jobs. I did also go around Oceania a bit and complete a few more of their cargo requests, or partially complete some of them. I now no longer need chickens, cows, and a whole wheat is another one. I completed all the requests for wheat that were outstanding in Russia, amongst other things. But there are some rather large cargo requests in Oceania where they want a thousand of each type of cargo, which takes a while. And my depot, even having completed all of that, is pretty much full. I've completed a load of stuff, but I've been around and collected more stuff to, to work on the um, other stuff that's outstanding. I also built a few stations in Africa, because, well, I could. It was about four or five, I think. They were just... they needed completing, so I did it while I was there. I am going to need the amber at some point. Not sure if I'm going to need the cooking oil or not. I may have enough of that. I'm not entirely sure where it needs to go. So I will just pick up the amber and move on. Oh, I've completed another job. Let me just collect the money from that one and get another job on the go. Because I don't have much money, strangely enough. I have just under three million. I think when I was in the last episode I had I got it down to under a million and I might have built it back to a million I got it up to five million then I bought a load of stations around Oceania and might have been Mexico or North America I spent that five million got down to almost nothing and now I've got it back up to almost three million it does take a little while to rebuild your funds once you exhaust them We go speeding along in the snow as evening comes in. So, whilst I'm here, let me go to the. Okay, that's all the way out. Yeah. So, down in Oceana, for example, I delivered some wood there. I think I delivered a load, yeah, some of my silk over there, some more steel over here. And there was, oh, I think I completed 
oh no, I didn't complete Christchurch. I delivered about 170 eggs to Christchurch, and I still need the you know, best part of another hundred. I did, however, complete Perth. <coughs> excuse me, Perth, which is one of the last places that required chickens. I delivered a load of apples and various other bits of cargo, but as I say, I then replaced them with other stuff. And I've got a lot of upgraded stations, especially in Africa. But now I've got, what, one, two, three stations kind of in the way in Africa, then all these stations down here to complete. I'll make that four, five, six, if you get these two over here. But I can get around most of Africa without a problem. I can't, just can't get down to this bit and in the middle of this bit. And for the most part, that requires lumber, which I can only get in Canada. And I get a very small amount of lumber in Canada at a time. So, and it takes a while to collect, go do circuits of the areas that give you lumber. I do have in my depot and on my train probably about 220 to 230 parkers, which I need to make a stop at Berlin for to deliver all of those. Not that that will satisfy Berlin, because it wants about another 600, I believe. Somewhere around there. So, that's quite a way to go, but I will go past Berlin at some point with a load of parkers in my train. Just because, well, I need to. Generally, I've basically been delivering cargo and that type of thing, and... It does take a while, this game, to get from one place to another. Oh, I'll get the map up. But one of the nice things is now I've got a port down here, having opened up this part of Southeast Asia. Admittedly, there's only one, one way into this. And out of this area, I've actually completed five out of the six tasks. I've just got to spend some more time going around it. Do another 11,000 miles around there to get a different train and caboose, and a new factory, and a new area. But if I look around the areas, I've completed most of the tasks for most of the areas. This is Africa Center is one that I haven't because I need to visit another six Africa Center cities. Oh, she's coming to another station. And I'll take the chunks of amber. I'll take the gasoline tanks because they're there. I'll leave the chlorine and the uranium. I've got, probably got enough of that to keep me going. Yes, going back to the map. Oh, that's Europe North, for example. I completed that one. I've completed Europe West. I've completed Europe South. Africa West, Africa East. Africa Center, as I said, has got one task to go. Southeast Asia's got one task to go. Asia North, I've completed the task list for that. Asia East, the same. Oceania West, the same. Oceania East. So I'm doing quite well for completing the tasks in areas, Russia West and Russia East, as well as if I go over to the Americas, Alaska, which still has some stuff to do in there, delivered cargo, but I've completed the tasks, Canada West, Canada Center, Canada East, USA Center, USA East is over here somewhere, I've completed that, USA West, USA South, and Mexico. I haven't even started on South America Upper yet. I haven't even visited that area. I need to at some point, but there it needs a load of stuff that can help me build stations when I do it. So all in all, I've made quite good progress in this game. I think, yeah, total quest progress is now 51%. I'll put it on the one I'm doing. So I'm over halfway with the quests, and I'm probably not halfway with the cargo deliveries yet. But I've done a lot of the harder ones, the ones where you've got to collect a thousand of something and get it to a certain place, which means when your train only carries three to four hundred cargo, you've got to go there two or three times. And as your depot only contains four thousand in total, no matter what, you've got to spend a lot of time gathering cargo, putting in your depot, clearing space in your depot, yada yada yada. And all in all, it's good fun to do, but it does occasionally get a bit repetitive. And then occasionally you press the wrong button, as I did when I had a train full of cargo to deliver to certain stations. 
I was doing a trip around Asia North, basically China. And I hit the all button to sell all my cargo and didn't realise I'd done it until such time as I couldn't reverse it. And I therefore lost deliveries to what was going to be four other stations by selling it at the wrong station, which annoyed me, I must admit. As I trundle through Russia, where am I? Okay, I've got well, one, two, three stations after this one to go before I get to the end. Why it didn't send me to Moscow to pick up Blackwell, I have no idea. It did say I was going to have to go to Moscow. I'll have a burst of speed. So we can go to Yakutsk. Uh, and another one. In we go. Let's go into this station at the speed of light. I do need Russian building blocks. That much I do need. Chunks of amber, I definitely need supply of that. And the gasoline tanks are useful. Oh, the parkers are definitely useful. As I say, I've got to deliver about 600 of them to Berlin. That's off to Magadan? I'm currently keeping this engine on the train. Not that it has any useful purpose, it has a speed boot bonus in Oceana. However, I'm not worried about that right now. I'm quite happy with the speed my train goes. However, when I get to complete the last bits, I think it's Africa Centre, I get a different train and caboose, so I'll probably put that train and caboose on, or that engine and caboose on my train. Or, I don't know, do I get a new train for this one? Yep, I get a new train and caboose for this one, so... Whichever one of these areas completes first, it'll probably be will will give me the engine and caboose that next goes on my train. Ah, <sighs> what else is going on? Well, Brexit happened yesterday. Manchester United drew with Wolves today. The Chelsea Leicester game was good. The Super Bowl's happening tomorrow. I really don't care who wins. I'll probably watch the first half of the su half of the Super Bowl because that's when the decent adverts take part or commercials if you're American. Give my train a quick clean and maintenance. And at the two teams playing, I probably prefers Can Kansas City to win. Mainly because I have a colleague and a sort of friend at work who's a Kansas City fan, but I'm a Raiders fan, so I. I should really feel the rivalry with Kansas City, but I don't. Because, let's face it, Kansas, Kansas City are a pretty nondescript team and have been ever since... Well, last time I really think of Kansas City was when Joe Montana played for them. And that was a long time ago. But they've never been particularly good. Well, apart from you know, way back in history. As I think it was... What's his name? One of the Hunts who owned the team. I can never remember the, the people's names. They were one of the people who devised the original Super Bowl. Yeah, Weather-wise, it's relatively nice. Well, it has been today. It rained a bit this, later this afternoon, but it's fine. Oh, yes. I did have a wonderful one-to-one -one with my boss last week and he was trying to persuade me that it might be a good idea if I moved to Pittsburgh my response was not positive I don't mind moving somewhere where it's warmer however I've been to Pittsburgh about three or four times and whilst the people in the office up there are nice enough Pittsburgh itself does not in any way look attractive it's well it is what it is it's a an ex steel city a blue collar working class city which had a lot of factories in it and it looks dilapidated because of that kind of heavy industry 
just like areas of Manchester or Liverpool where or cities up north in England generally because they were industrial cities they're not built to be a particularly attractive and Pittsburgh definitely shares that quality with them it is not attractive in any way shape or form plus it's cold up there during the winter I don't like snow and it snows more there than it does where I currently am in Northern Virginia basically just outside DC so that was one thing yeah there was all sorts of wonderful stuff happening at work but none of which is particularly interesting to share although we are going to accept, upset quite a few of our customers over the next three or four years and I quite look I'm quite looking forward to that yes I won't be the one doing the upsetting so the screams of customers when we upset them when you're so low down on the totem pole it doesn't matter to you one way or the other is normally quite amusing so let me move my train back so I can see the three new cars as I come towards the next station I'll give my train a burst of speed and these cars oh these, ca these fun two cars are almost ready to upgrade that is relatively fast I'm just curious how much cargo this one will end up carrying if it's more than 19 it will be a permanent addition to my train okay so let's upgrade this one first the Japanese luxury carriage car it had seven capacity of seven passengers and five cargo it still has seven passengers and five cargo at level two this one has a capacity of 15 cargo and one for food one for comfort one for entertainment and one for toilets so let's see what that upgrades to you know, it's changed color slightly or has a nice, nice red band around it now and now contains can carry 16 cargo not a great increase and it has no bonuses neither does that one this one has plus one speed when equipped in Europe wasn't it yeah but it looks like it could do with a clean and a bit of maintenance I did say I want the Russian building blocks and I need the amber and any parkers you've got nope no parkers I'll take the gasoline tank I do not need the lacquer box So we'll just go with that. Kamachka Cry is the next place. Yes, again, excuse my pronunciation. I suppose I should see if I how many jobs I can collect on. Yes, I do need the money. I think at my peak I, I once had 22 million. And at one time before that I had 19 million. And I spent all of that. So I spent, I don't know, probably by this point, well over 60 million. At least, at least that in total. I've no idea how much it's going to cost for me to fully upgrade every station. But I imagine it's going to take me a while to get that amount of money together. Nine out of ten jobs. Now 10 out of 10 jobs, okay. So my job list is fully filled again. Yeah, definitely going to take a while to get to this corner of Russia. Which I do, I am aware of, purely because, for example, the next wonderful city, it wanted coal at some point, so I delivered the coal. And this one wanted cows, I delivered them. That one wanted coal. But most of the stations up this general direction, I have fulfilled their cargo re requirements. I think it's. I think there might be two or three cities in Russia West where I haven't fi fulfilled the cargo requirements. They might be down in this general direction. No, nope, done that one. That one, cauliflowers. I haven't found cauliflowers anywhere. There's a few few places that want cauliflowers in the world. I haven't found where they they are yet. I'm sure I will in the fullness of time. But I can't remember exactly which cities it is that I need. Oh, I think it's a couple over here that want... One wants tulips and one wants computer computer chips. So 
but the stuff in the top right corner of the map, I have fulfilled its cargo requirements sometime way in the past. As we try and get back up to speed, having moved that cow out of the way. 500 miles to go to the next station. It's a weird looking engine. You know, it looks like someone sat a teapot on top of a train engine. I'm sure it's not a teapot, I'm sure it's some exotic drink, but it looks like a teapot with a really elongated funnel or nose or whatever you want to call it. Spout, that's the word I was looking for and couldn't find. In case you haven't seen it recently, here's my train going backwards, two double-decker cars, a modern outhouse, two luxury cargo cars, two flat freighters, four, I think they're oil cars, oil tankers, a thunder car, and apple car, a crane car, a camel stable, and a caboose. What else is there to say? Oh, if you haven't seen it, there's, well, there's a um, TV series I've been enjoying watching. Well, there's a few, but Death in Paradise, I've almost caught up with that one. I had caught up with it, and then they, there's another episode came out this week. So I've got to watch that. But uh, David Attenborough, um, he does the voiceover for the series Blue Planet, Planet Life, and I don't know what they're all called, but they're basically nature documentaries. And some of them are absolutely fascinating. If you haven't seen any of them, either find a channel where they, to watch them. If you're in, in America, they're on BBC America frequently, and frequently get repeated on BBC America, as everything does on BBC America. If you're somewhere else in the world, download them. Find where they're playing, or find where you can get them, and download them. They are well worth watching if you like nature documentaries. They're some of the best I've ever seen. As I come to this place, I will take the parkers, I'll take the amber, I've got plenty of space in the train, and the gas tanks and the Russian building blocks. Anything else I've got on my train that I can just throw away? No, you don't need that. I forgot why I put it on my train. The rest, of the rest of the stuff can stay as I finally head towards my destination that's a thousand miles away. And then we will see what the story says. At which point I will probably end the episode unless it sends me to a destination that's the next station down the road. Because it's going to take me a while if it's going to want me to go to Moscow. It's going to take me a while to get to Moscow. I'll explain, well, I won't necessarily explain, I'll show why. Moscow's there. That's a heck of a long way away. I mean, it's literally across the other side of Russia from where I'm currently headed. So, and I have fulfilled its cargo request, if memory serves me correctly. It was one of those that wanted wheat. And there are about th three stations in Russia that wanted wheat. That one... Petro, that that place, wanted wheat. I fulfilled that one, and there was one over here. I think it's possibly that one. Yep. My memory isn't that bad for these things like that. But they were the three stations in Russia that wanted wheat. And they were the last stations around that actually wanted wheat, so when I completed the last one, I realised I no longer have a demand for wheat anywhere in the world. So I don't pick up wheat anymore. burst of speed as the sun's going down as I'm sure because to get to the other side of, of Russia is going to take me a while at the very least I'm pretty sure by the time I come back these front two cars if not this one will all be fully upgraded And I might as well collect the money from the jobs I've completed by heading in this general direction for quite some time. I'm not going to the gumball machine and getting any more cars until I pretty much run out of cars. 
As I can't remember how many pages of train cars I've got, but I think it's something like 18 now. 17, 18 pages of train cars. The large majority of which are fully upgraded. Right, that's me back up to 10 jobs on the go. Oh, apart from the Super Bowl tomorrow, Manchester City are playing Tottenham, which is Pep Guardiola versus Jose Mourinho, which should be a fun, good game, hopefully. But well, watching these days, or this season, watching Manchester City and or Liverpool are normally very good games. So I always tend to go out my way to try and watch games with either those teams in the Premier League. Admittedly, my team is currently in League 2, so three three divisions below the Premier League. I'm a Swindon Town supporter. A very casual Swindon Town supporter. But I am one nonetheless. And we did spend one year in the Premier League. And we conceded the most goals ever conceded by a Premier League team and went straight back down to the next division. Then down to the division below that, the division below that. Yes, wasn't wasn't our most glorious hour, but we did have Glenn Hoddle as our manager who got us promoted and then left. Ah, okay, Blackwell's here. Blackwell, ah, fresh air. Nika, keep quiet, Blackwell. My dear Nika, surely you wouldn't begrudge me this brief moment of freedom. Gamayang, the bird is in the nest. We are on the way to the port. Spy. Roger, we have eyes on you. Well, at least this new cage has a view. If it was up to me, would have left you here and tossed away the key. Nice. Quite a crew you've assembled for this. I'm surprised my son isn't here. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, Blackwell, even you aren't here. How lovely. Shall we get this adventure started? Valerie, it's time to roll out. On it. Okay, so that completed that quest. So I don't have to go to Moscow. Apparently, I've just got to go to Melbourne. Which, as I discovered the other day, its original name was Batmania. There was a man named Batman. Yes, yeah, so, although you can pronounce it Batman. And it was originally named after him. And so I'm going to Melbourne. And the easiest... Well, Melbourne is all the way down here. That much I know. But the actually easiest way to get to Melbourne is to go via the Asia East port, which is still going to take me a little while to get to because I've got to go... Okay, that seems to be a very strange way round to go. But I'll start heading in that general direction. Catch a boat. Get off the boat there. Then just hop across Australia. So, oh, I didn't check for cargo, but never mind. I'm not overly worried at this point. So, yes. So, if you really want to be technical, uh, so Melbourne was originally named after Batman. He was, I believe, an explorer as part of the original colonisation of Australia, and it was named after Batman. Batman, Batman is how it's pronounced. However, thanks to the comic now, it's Batman. So, maybe you can look around Melbourne for the Batcave. Alright, I will shut up now. Next time you see this train, it should be coming into Melbourne. Hopefully. And we'll see what happens when I get there. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the track for more Tiny Rails in the near future. Cheerio!